Mr. President, allow me to address you at this hour in which fate of the whole world is being threatened by a global conspiracy against God and humanity. I write you as an archbishop, as the former apostolic nuncio of the United States of America. I'm writing you in the midst of the silence of both civil and religious authorities. May you accept these words of mine as a voice of one crying out in the desert. As I said when I wrote my letter to you in June, this historic moment uh, sees the forces of evil aligned in a battle without quarter against the forces of good. Forces of evil that appear powerful and organized as they oppose the children of light who are disoriented and disorganized, abandoned by their temporal and spiritual leaders. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Daily, we sense the attacks multiplying of those who want to destroy the very basis of society, the natural family, respect for human life, love of country, freedom of education, freedom of business. We see heads of nations and religious leaders pandering to this suicide of Western culture and its Christian soul, while the fundamental rights of the citizens and believers are denied in the name of a health emergency that is revealing itself more and more as, a full, uh, as fully an instrument to the establishment of an inhuman, faceless tyranny. Behind the world leaders who are the accomplishment, uh, accomplices and executors of this infernal project, there are unscrupulous characters who finance the World Economic Forum and Event 201 prevent, uh, promoting their agenda. The purpose of the Great Reset is the imposition of a health dictatorship aiming at the imposition of uh, liberty-cidal measures hidden behind tempting promises of ensuing a universal income and canceling individual debt. The price of these concessions from the International Monetary Fund will be the renunciation of private property and an adherence to a program of vaccination against COVID-19 and COVID-21 promoted by Bill Gates in collaboration with the main pharmaceutical groups. Beyond the enormous economic interests that motivate the promoters of this Great Reset, the imposition of the vaccination will be accompanied by the requirement of a health passport and a digital ID with the consequent contact tracing of the population of the entire world. Those who do not accept these measures will be confined in detention camps or placed under house arrest, and all of their assets will be confiscated. Mr. President, I imagine you're already aware that in some countries the Great Reset will be activated between the end of this year and the first trimester of 2021. This purpose, <clears throat> For this purpose, further lockdowns are planned, which will officially be justified <clears throat> by a supposed second and third wave of the pandemic. This will serve to make the recourse of nations to the Great Reset irreversible thereby giving the final blow to a world whose existence and very memory they want to completely cancel. Just when the complicity of the mainstream media has succeeded in making the transition to the new world order almost painless and unnoticed, all sorts of deceptions, scandals, and crimes are now coming to light. It is now clear that the one who occupies the chair of Peter, that's the Pope, has betrayed his role from the very beginning in order to defend and promote the globalist ideology, supporting the agenda of the deep church who chose him from his ranks. Mr. President, you have clearly stated you want to defend the nation, one nation under God, fundamental liberties, and non-negotiable values that are denied and fought against today. It is you, dear President, who are the one who opposes the deep state, the final assault of the children of darkness. For this reason, it is necessary that all people of good will be persuaded of the importance of the imminent election, not so much for the sake of this or that political program, but because of the general inspiration of your action that best embodies in this particular historic context, that world, our world, which they want to cancel by means of lockdowns. Your adversary is also our adversary. It is the enemy of the human race, he who is the murderer from the beginning. Around you are gathered with faith and courage those who consider you the final garrison against the world dictatorship. 
It is understanding that it is not willing to exchange its freedom for the homogenization and cancelization of its identity. It's beginning to understand the value of familial and social ties and the bonds of faith and culture that unite all honest people. The leveling inhumanity of the globalist project will shatter miserably in the face of firm and courageous opposition of the children of light. The enemy has Satan on its side, he who only knows how to hate. But on our side, we have the Lord Almighty. Place your trust in the Lord, strengthened by the words of the Apostle Paul. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. To be that is from the, um, uh, the Archbishop Carlo Viango uh, to the President of the United States. And it is very clear, and I echo his words.